Okay, welcome back to GeoGuessr Explained. This is Oscar, and uh, yeah, the links to play these games will be in the description. So go ahead and play them, and uh, then you can watch me explain exactly how I am able to get close. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's able to help you guys out in many ways. So uh, let's get into the game today. I will try and explain it to people who you know don't have too much GeoGuessr experience, but I'll also include tips for those of you who are more experienced as well. So first one of the day here, we are looking at something in Europe. I can immediately tell that because we. Got this blue strip on the plate. Now those of you who are observant may have noticed when you were playing that there's also this yellow strip on the plate as well and now that is going to indicate that we're in one country and one country only and that country is Portugal. Portugal is the country where you see these plates. So let's run, other, uh, run over other regions that this uh, other reasons that this is Portugal okay. So first off we got all white road lines. Um, we do probably, we don't have any crossing sign here, even though this is a pedestrian crossing, so I guess it's so built up that you don't really need one. Uh, Language-wise, I'm just trying to see if there's anything that looks particularly Portuguese here. I'm not the best at telling that apart, as some of you guys know, so I'm just trying to see if there's anything that's actually easy here in terms of like language or letter combination. I don't see anything that's super easy. I mean, architecture, as we loaded, loaded in, I almost thought of South Africa, but yeah, these these red roofs and white walls are very Portuguese. Um, Maybe can be confused with like some regions of Greece or maybe some regions of Spain as well, but it's definitely more Portuguese than anything here. I would say that we're in the mainland here as opposed to uh, Funchal or or as opposed to the Azores, but uh, yeah, I guess I guess I guess those are a remote possibility here. We've got a hill in the background. Um, yeah, Portugal is a very hilly country, so that does not surprise me whatsoever. Probably getting a south vibe here, honestly. This kind of feels like a beach town as well. Do we see anyone with swimmers on or anything like that? Doesn't seem like anyone's got bathers on, but I still want to click one of these. Like, I want to go like Lagos or something like that, something southern. Um, apart from that, there's not too much to say here. I think it's just kind of the vibes. Uh, language I could probably use if I had to, to tell that it wasn't Spain. But apart from that, yeah, just the, the vibes plus the number plates are well enough to guess here. So let's go for it. And it will actually be fairly something there, 69 kilometers away. Nice, uh, but not a bad start to the video. Okay, next one here. Uh, and so this one is a round that had the potential to be difficult, but we do have some bollards here. So that really helps me out. Uh, look in this direction. I don't think the country is 100% obvious, but this direction really does remind me of New Zealand. So we've got like super large ferns here. Obviously the silver fern is the national plant of New Zealand. You can see that on like the their sports flag and stuff, the, the silver fern. Um, yeah, so we have a few of those here. I would say that definitely makes it much more likely to be New Zealand. Like if you see a, t a fern that's this tall, that would be very rare for Australia indeed. Um, we also have like par palms here as well, which is kind of an interesting combination with the um, pines. So that kind of definitely reminds me of New Zealand. More mild climate, but you do get palms as well. We've got these bollards here. They're just kind of sticks. They're, they're not typical. They're yellow as well, which is not typical for New Zealand. But what I would say is typical is the fact that we're on a dirt road here. That's quite typical for New Zealand coverage. Kind of like yellowish green grass, dirt road, and it looks fairly nice and fairly tropical, but nothing crazy. Then, yeah, North Island, New Zealand seems to really fit here. Uh, the actual region is kind of difficult. I could see Northland. I could also see just kind of around Hamilton. I think I'll hedge it there. And let's see where it is. Okay, it is just Northland here. And uh, all the way north. So definitely a possible uh, location, but yeah, you do get similar landscape around there. So that's why I went there. Not a bad start though, called it out. Okay, next one here. Um, this one's very gettable, so let's take a look. We got a yellow number plate here, which is the first thing we notice. Uh, if we got yellow number plates and we're driving right in Europe, then that would tend to indicate that we're somewhere in Luxembourg or Netherlands. And as, as I think I've said before on the channel, uh, brick houses much more common in Netherlands than in Luxembourg. Luxembourg, they probably paint the uh, the walls. So then, um, if we're in Netherlands, that's pretty much all. Like Netherlands is one of the easiest countries to get. So uh, these these kinds of signs with the like red and white alternating is also are very Dutch. Uh, the red brick pavement is very Dutch and these blue street signs are very Dutch. These bollards are the Australian style but a bit shorter. That's that's for Netherlands as well. In Belgium they would have a yellow reflector there so yeah red reflector for um, Netherlands. Uh, these arrows for giveaway uh, points are also Dutch but in other countries as well. And then uh, bike lane as well, and a thick red border on the side. Like, Netherlands is pretty easy. Also, not to mention the fact that it's dead flat here. So, yeah, I think we just kind of click uh, middle here. I'm going to go in Epe and see, hope we get close. It's actually all the way south there. Hmm, interesting. Sometimes you would see some hills there, but I, not necessarily so. So, uh, not the best score, but, uh, yeah, it's difficult to region guess there. Okay, next one's clearly somewhere in Kenya. We've got this snorkel on the car. Uh, yeah, yellow rear plates here. Um, I think I've 
pretty much covered Kenya in a, a bunch of videos recently, so I'll be brief. Um, we got concrete poles, probably mixed in with some wooden ones. Yeah, there's a wooden one there as well. Um, do we see any palms? Because I would probably be tempted to go somewhere in Nairobi um, if we don't have any palms here. We do have one, but I would like to have more palms to go somewhere in Mombasa or something like that. And not to mention, we do have the tapes on the side of the car here, which should be um, Nairobi region instead. Uh, now, do we have Addis Ababa? Interesting. Uh, so maybe because it's named after another capital city, which is, of course, um, the capital city of Ethiopia. Maybe that means we're in the capital city ourselves, like near the embassies or something like that. That's kind of my theory here. Sometimes a bit of logic like that can go a long way in GeoGuessr, uh, but it could just be somewhere else entirely as well. Let's see. And it is 2.5 kilometers away. Very nice. It is just the center of Nairobi there, so that's a bit of redemption on the score. And we're on to round five here, which is very gettable. So let's take a look around here and see uh, what's useful. Okay, first thing to notice is that it's hilly with a lack of trees. And now this lack of trees uh, really reminds me of somewhere in Turkey. So um, it kind of looks like Lesotho kind of landscape here, like Lesotho, the Southern African country. But uh, we're driving right hand side of the road and we're on a big highway. And I don't, I don't think a single big highway like that exists in the whole country of Lesotho. So yeah, that pretty much excludes that. We also have like the Australian style bollard. That's something you see in Turkey as well. Um, we have like these metal poles with the X's through them. That's very Turkish. You can see that in other countries, but Turkey loves them. Um, and uh, we got like some, not poplars maybe, but some, some similar looking trees. I don't know if that's actually too helpful. And then the big other help here is the fact that we have like a salt and pepper road. It gets very dark, but also very light. That combination is very Turkish, I would say. And then finally, we do have blue strips on the plates. So uh, don't get confused. Even though, even though Turkey is not part of the EU, they do have blue strips on the plates. So just with a lack of trees, I am thinking of more eastern here, somewhere around Ezerum maybe. Um, but yeah, not entirely sure. It could actually be more western here. Um, this is just my vibe. I would probably take it somewhere not too far from Kuala's here. So let's go for it and see. And where will we be? Actually, a little bit further south there, but a pretty good guess. Turkey's a big country, and to come out with 4.6 is pretty good. Okay, so 23.2 there. Um, so let me know how you did, if you got, were able to get above 20,000, or if you were a bit lower. Uh, it's it's, a, it's a, ch a channel aimed at low-ranked players, so hopefully you did get lower, and you're learning some stuff uh, from when you're playing. Um, but yeah, like, the Portugal was kind of vibes, the level was, was kind of vibes. As long as you know the number of plates for those, they're pretty easy. Turkey, mostly the landscape. Kenya, mostly some uh, parameter. And then New Zealand was the tough round here. Uh, but just remember those big ferns and just remember that kind of dirt road generation two coverage and you should be good. Okay, so let's move on to region guessing. So basically, uh, on this one, if you haven't already played the seed, it only includes the 20 countries with the most coverage on, uh, on, on GeoGuessr. So uh, let's check out what we got going on here. And actually, I think I can call out the correct state here in South Africa. So as we've covered before, South Africa is using these yellow outside lines. At this point in time, um, Botswana, Lesotho, and Eswatini only have Generation 3, whereas South Africa has Generation 2, 3, and 4. So that's definitely very useful. Uh, and then um, we also have these kind of like butchers that kind of remind me more of the Botswana um, bot border here. Obviously, because it's Generation 4, has to be somewhere in South Africa, but yeah, these kind of low bushes that are a bit like, you know, they don't have too many leaves on them and stuff like that, definitely kind of reminded me of there. And then uh, also if we needed to confirm, turn the compass on here, we've got this on to the north, which would be in Southern Hemisphere as well. Okay, so whereabouts exactly? As I said, I think it could be near the Botswana border here. We have this kind of orange red dirt, which definitely fits for certain parts of the country. The big thing here though is the red tinged road. When you see a red tinged road, Either guess somewhere near Uppington or somewhere near Polokwane. They're the two centers for the for the red tinged roads. And because this isn't a desert, rather it's got like quite a lot of vegetation, I'm thinking it's somewhere near Polokwane here. So let's that's what I'm gonna go for. Let's see if I'm right about that. It ends up being all the way up near there, so that's a pretty good result. We're in Limpopo indeed, and we get four thousand four hundred to show for it. So very nice start to region guessing so far. Obviously you get a bit less of a score on this one because uh, because only twenty countries are included, so the whole distribution is a bit different. Okay, this one is though a US-Canada toss-up. Um, so basically, when you see this pole with the hook on top, um, that's extremely unlikely for Europe. 
Um, so I can basically already discount Europe based on that. Then also we have um, this kind of yellow dashed inner line, which definitely fits for Canada and the US. So now we gotta think about where is so flat, but also so green. And we do have quite a lot of trees as well. So it's not a straightforward round, I would say. So now I'm looking for like telephone wise. We also got some red barns over here, almost feeling a bit European. So I, I could forgive you if you accidentally went Europe here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's interesting. This telephone thing here, I don't know what that actually is, but I'm looking for one of those telephone poles with the orange tops on them which are normally found in the US. Anyway, um, I'm not so sure if we're gonna find one of those, so maybe it is better to go somewhere in like in this kind of region. Now, I can tell you, if you went like in like Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Utah, Colorado, anything in the Appalachians here, that's a mistake because this is dead flat and you only see this kind of dead flatness in the Great Plains of Canada and down through to the US Midwest kind of Great Plains region. So uh, yeah, when it's really this flat, that should be useful. Um, it almost looks like we don't have front plates on these cars over here, but they're really too far to tell, so I wouldn't put too much stock into that. Uh, and that's about it, so this is difficult. The red houses remind me more of Canada, but they could just be like somewhere up here. I think in Manitoba, North Dakota, anywhere down to Illinois, anywhere up to like kind of North Alberta is possible here. Um, but it definitely feels kind of, hmm, lack of front plates on that car. It almost makes me want to go Alberta here, honestly. I can definitely see it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe I will try Alberta. I kind of really thought it was more south the whole time, but I'm gonna try it, guys. I'm gonna try it. Let's go Edmonton here. And it was uh, Edmonton, amazing. Okay, I'm really happy with that guess. Um, okay, just kind of vibes there, to be honest. It's a very flat area, not many trees, but some. Um, poor quality roads from the snow. Edmonton gets a ton of snow. Um, I'll Ken show. And then, yeah, I don't know. Like, that just makes sense to me. So, yeah, uh, it took a bit of working out, though. Okay, next one here. We have tiled roofs. And if this is Indonesia, then, as I've said before, tiled roofs make sense for Java. But, of course, it could be other places as well so far. Looks like we might have a front license plate on the bike here, which is something you do see in Indonesia. So, that would make sense. Um, other Eastern, other East Asian countries don't really use that so much. I think uh, Sri Lanka might have them as well. But, yeah, not, not too common. Maybe India as well, but, yeah. Um, apart from that, we've got like a bamboo pole here, definitely Asia for that reason. I mean, like a bamboo pole here means you can exclude, um, Brazil, I would say. Banana plants are very tropical, so that all makes sense as well. Uh, and, uh, what else can we say here? Do we have any ditches? Okay, this fence almost reminds me of like southern Sulawesi. It almost looks like a southern Sulawesi fence, but I think with this many tiled roofs that Java is just more, more, more likely here. Um, and, uh, that leaves us with the region here, and I'm not really too sure. Java's a big island, and I couldn't say I actually know what this is likely to be, so I think I just kind of click central here and hope for the best, because we don't have any poles, which are the most important thing to re re remember on Java. So, okay, let's go for central Java here, and it ends up being 38 kilometers away. Okay, let's go. Man, I just keep picking the right region on this series at the moment. Um, and, uh, the, re the, re the reason I went there is just because it seemed flat. Like, over here, you get more of these volcanic, volcano mountains kind of ranges and so I thought well this kind of region looks like it could be there also rice plantations I saw in the background definitely fit and we're back on a three country streak inside uh inside the region guessing map which is really good I think that's actually my best ever so uh, we, we can be happy with that okay next one here we have a blue and red plate now that is unique I have never seen that so let's let's try and work out where we exactly are here um mm, mountain in the background uh white all white lines here and it says reduce speed are we actually in Australia? That is not what I thought off the bat here, but I guess it could be the case. But where would this be in Australia? Well, hold up. I am actually confused. This should just be the US. Yeah, so we've got another one of these American poles with the hooks on it. Now, where's the yellow line, though? It's all white lines for some reason. That's extremely strange to me. Uh, so, and also, which state would use this? Like a French flag kind of color scheme there. Very strange to me indeed. Unless this is... No, it can't be Thailand, can it? Huh? I don't know, like, for some reason, there's a serious lack of information on this round. They would never have a reduced speed sign like that in Thailand, would they? I mean, we're driving right as well, so it can't be Thailand, so am I missing something here? Ever, um, Philippines? But surely not with that plate. I am royally confused. After going so well so far, this round is fully stumping me. So, okay, um, is even... Oh, I don't know where this is. I, I just can't think of anywhere. Like, these look Asian, do they not? So maybe even Philippines. But Philippines does not 
seem to work. This looks like an Australian sign, but it's not quite. Obviously, right-hand drive completely excludes that possibility. So I am just confused here, guys. Could this be uh, Hawaii? Uh, sometimes when you're ultra, ultra, ultra confused, Hawaii can make sense. Uh, I couldn't say it's impossible, but yeah, I, I don't know about that either. Two green number plates here. This green number plate makes me think maybe this is just uh, ultra strange Philippines. Yeah, dude, I cannot believe how, how much we turn from two good guesses into something that I'm not, I can't explain to you anything about this round because I just don't know where it is. I think architecture has to be Asian here, which is just so strange. So let's get into the map here. We, ex we established that Thailand is impossible with right-hand drive. Um, <laughs> we have English, which definitely fits for Philippines because they do do that kind of thing. We don't see any big mountain, like, apart from one that's quite distant there. Um, like, we could, be, we could be looking at that. Oh my gosh, don't tell me I actually get it again. Okay, let's check out the road angle here. So, road angle is kind of, yeah, lining up decently well with, like, this road, maybe, I could say. Like, that, maybe. Um, but it is, like, a separated road, and that's, like, a one-way one. So, maybe, yeah, maybe this one, then, instead, okay? Uh, okay, don't tell me we're actually going to get this right, guys, after I was so confused. We should have, like, yeah, I mean, this should make sense. Um, we should see mountains to our west, though, and I guess the sun is too bright, but I don't really see those mountains, so that is slightly concerning, although they, they could be mountains. I don't, don't know if they're clouds or mountains. Wow, this run, I think it has to be there. I mean, this play is just so confusing. I'm, I'm prepared for this to be a terrible guess, but I'm going for it, guys. Let's see if I was right. No way. No way. I was so confused, man. And we get the state again. You're kidding me. That's crazy. Okay, let's see what we get next round. We're on a crazy score as well. And the next one here is looking like pretty gettable, I think. It, uh, okay. So let's, uh, let's break down our thought process here. This sign appears to be set up for right-hand drive. So if we're driving down the road here, that's like facing towards the person who's coming towards it on the right. Uh, if it was a left-hand drive country, they'd probably just like clear up some space and put it there, I think. Um, then we've got these snow-capped mountains, but they're not that tall, so it feels like it's going to be a, quite a cold climate here. Uh, yeah, yeah, some definitely quite a few snow-capped mountains here. And we're on a dirt road, and, um, yeah, it's quite rocky. It's, yeah, it's kind of, quite an interesting place, I think. Um, we do have another car driving on the right, so we're definitely right-hand drive here. So we can cross off New Zealand, that was kind of a possibility here. Architecture is peeking through here, doesn't say too much to me, but I am thinking that this could be all the way south in, uh, like, Ush, Ushu, Ushuaia, um, in, uh, in Argentina here, so we are kind of going east to west here, so that would definitely make sense. Um, it could also kind of be this kind of region over here, next to El Calafate, um, that could also make sense, but, um, and Chile is obviously possible, but I kind of associate these kind of snow-capped mountains with the dirt, kind of brownish road with um, with this kind of region more. That's probably just like me memorizing what the coverage looks like more, but I just can't think of anything deep south Chile that would be so like dead looking, you know. So that's kind of my theory here. If I get this correct, then this is one of my greatest seeds of all time. I'm, I'm, I'm fully serious. So let's just see. I mean, like, how can it really be the greatest? How can it really be one of the greatest if I screwed up the... Uh, if I screwed up that Philippines so much before actually working it out. But hey, let's go here. And okay, it was, it was just Chile near Concepcion. Okay, never mind about it being the greatest. Uh, that does make a lot of sense. Just like kind of a random road out in the mountains here. Um, I knew it should be Chile or um, Argentina, but it's difficult without the Google car to get it. But hey, we got four states in a row. Man, this game was going crazy. Imagine if I lined up the South African road, which I easily could have. I literally could have gotten that because mountains to the south there. That was so gettable. And then that was crazy. That was crazy. And that was crazy. So that is a really fun episode, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you guys did on the final round there because that was definitely difficult. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for next episode and uh, check out previous ones if you want to get some more training. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. Till then, goodbye.